The link between the Franciscans and the Holy Land has ancient origins. St. Francis probably landed at St. John of Acre on his way to Damietta, and it was this that laid the foundation for the Franciscan presence in the Holy Land, which has grown and developed up to this day. In the general chapter of the order, held in 1217 at the Porziuncola in Assisi, the Middle Eastern province of Friars Minor was established. Then in 1342, Pope Clement VI issued bulls which gave instructions for the new entity, defining the identity of the Franciscan mission in the Holy Land in two separate but interconnected areas. Firstly, to take care of the places that witness to the events of redemption, the holy places, and secondly, to support the Christian presence in the Holy Land and in the Middle East. The custody of the Holy Land is presently active in Israel, Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt and on the islands of Cyprus and Rhodes. About 300 religious are working in the custody, called from every part of the world. In the first area of mission, the holy places, the primary activities are liturgical and pastoral. In fact, millions of pilgrims come from all over the world to encounter Jesus Christ during their pilgrimage to his land. In their liturgies at the Basilicas of the Holy Sepulchre, Bethlehem, Nazareth and at other sanctuaries, the Franciscans are devoted to making the words of Jesus tangible and real for those who visit the places of redemption. Bethlehem, Nazareth, Dominus, Flavit are only some of the 55 sanctuaries scattered throughout the Holy Land, restored by the custody and jealously protected and cared for down the centuries. The custody of the Holy Land has five Casa Nova hostels with comfortable facilities for guests and pilgrims. The second area is the pastoral and social ministry directed toward the Christian communities of the Middle East, focused above all in the 24 parishes located mainly throughout the Holy Land, Syria and Cyprus. Within the parishes, the activities that are always needed are social and educational and aim to benefit the small Christian communities. Institutions for children in difficulty, sheltered homes and medical centres offering care for the elderly. Also important is the housing ministry, whose aim is to build residential centres, assign accommodation preferentially to help with the rental costs for poor families and renovate homes in a precarious condition. Conditions have become even more dramatic and urgent in Syria, where the custody has 10 parishes throughout the country. Here, the Franciscans are called to support millions of displaced and dispossessed Syrians, including, in particular and in every possible way, the faithful of their parishes, for whom they bring hope in a land massacred by hatred. In Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Jericho and in other places, a total of 14 schools with more than 10,000 students distributed in Israel, Palestine, Jordan and Cyprus, helping in the formation of young Christians, teaching tolerance and mutual respect, welcoming students of every creed and religion. But that is not all. The Custody also promotes scientific research and educational activities at the Studium Biblicum Franciscanum, the Faculty of Biblical Sciences and Archaeology founded in 1923, and at the Magnificat Institute, their music school for musicians and teachers from every religion. The Franciscans do not work alone in the Holy Land, but are a strand in the mixed social and religious fabric. Their work forms part of an interweaving of ecumenical and interreligious relations that is unique in the world. The relationship with the other Christian churches, the Orthodox in particular, and relations with the Jews and Muslims do not just depend upon institutions and special projects, but form the daily life of every Franciscan. For some years, the custody of the Holy Land has invested greatly in forms of communication. Every day, the custody of the Holy Land is an announcer of peace and a witness of Jesus. To be a custodian means so to love, care for and take to heart, here where Jesus became man for the salvation of all men.